Made his way up here as well, going to be spotted by the Pink Ward as he heads through that tri brush. But the dive is on here yet again. Go going always the beneficiary of those particular dives, but Pokemon flashes out to safety and beautiful first blood here coming through for IG. We see OMG, they're already onto the dragon right here. There are two members to contest it, but Lulu's the closest member there. It would be a 4v2 situation. The smart to back away right here. And unable to this time. That was such an uncomfortable thing to have to say. I'm not going to lie to you. And Pokemon, he is going for the Rod of Ages build right here. So he's delaying his power spike for another 10 minutes. But we might see a fight in the mid. Yeah, Cool got kicked but wasn't in range for that last breath. And Kakao's going to fall down. The Tornado's going to land. Not going to be Rookie going in on that one as Kitty's going to use that Black Shield to dodge away from the Bowler slow. Rookie somehow weaving around that one. Starts the last breath here. There's the Wild Growth to come through. But Lovely taking so much damage. The Exhaust to come down as well. The Flash in response here as Rookie picks up the kill under Lovely in response. Another Tornado to come around. The E coming through. Kitties is going to fall as Go Going picks up a Teleport kill. Yeah, two kills in the bottom lane at the same time. Also, he has Uzi's managed to take out uh, Kitties. Sorry, Kid during all of that fracas. Very nice play right here, but Rookie's still fighting against Go Going. Yeah, he's landing so many of these tornadoes as well as that static ship is proccing for so much damage. The slow from the Glitter Lance, so turned around here by Go Going. Picks up the kill. Pokemon's here as well, and that ultimate not going to find Go Going. Kakao's found his way back around. Logan will knock out with that Sonic Wave, and Pokemon, you're definitely dead. Go Going. Right back in this game. On them a, a very significant skirmish. And down the bottom lane, Uzi got the kill as well. Oh, Kakao actually kicking Loveling back into that last breath. Beautifully played. It's cool. Not going to find the Glitter Lands here. And IG going to clear out some wards. Cool. Looking to put some pressure on because of his range advantage. Go Goings found his way in here as well. It's a decent wind wall to try and help Rookie out. And Kakao, he's back in here as well. The safeguard yet in the way here. But he's going to die for it. Go Going is so big. And now with that... Wild growth as well, go going so strong. They take down Rookie as well as Pokemon gets turned into a little critter and he's going to have to get out of here because Cool is just assisting in these fights so beautifully. He really wants to keep him down. Well, Kakao has to make this very early a warrior enchantment pay. It looks like they're going to go for a fight in the top lane. Go going could be in a lot of trouble. Go going could be in trouble, but that is going to mean another dragon to come through. There's a sonic wave resonating strike. Go going's going to fall, but the dragon has been taken here by OMG. It's a matter of a couple of seconds, and Loveling even sort of ignores it for a bit at the end there. As IG, there's nothing that they can do. Second Dragon going over to OMG, and the bottom lane we do see Cool might be caught. Cool might be in trouble. He is, and he is in fact dead. Lulu could spit push the bottom, clear waves, and of course Uzi could go top, and there'd be no one to counter him, but he's in trouble. There's a kick on Uzi coming through as well. The last breath coming down as well. Uzi trying to use that wild growth, but he's going to fall down. Pokemon picks up an instant double kill. Answered by Rookie as well as low falls down. Sonic Wave resonating strike. Kakao with the plays here is cool. He's going to fall. Kitties flashes on top of him, pops the heel. And this is going to be a clean ace for IG. And with Baron just up, are they going to go for it? A 5-0 ace. It looks like they'll start the Baron. They're going to be very smart with the trade tanker, but they do have the Yasuo win wall to reduce some of the damage right there. And opting into a fight against this Corky, already Trinity Force and the startings of his Blade, the Ruin King. So much in terms of mid-game power right there. And the AoE burst coming out of IG between the last one, that wonderful flash kick from Kakao. Maybe that validates the Lee Sin pick. He didn't get the early game pressure, but that is a massive turnaround at 20 minutes. Breath after the kick in exactly the right spot as Uzi's actually getting aggressed on here by Rookie. It's a beautiful wind wall to come in. Catches low here, but Uzi's not caught out as Rookie's trying to escape now. The rest of the cavalry has found their way in. Lovely, he wants to finish off the kill. He gets Rookie. Uzi, he's still alive. Lovely gets Wild Roast here as well as OMG. Try to turn this one around. Kakao, he's running away. Lovely just leaping around these brushes and Pokemon with no damage. Not going to be able to secure anything, and that's four dead in the bottom lane for one. A four for one trade, and crucially, four Baron buffs cancelled out by OMG right there. Angle hold on this neutral objective. The Scrying Orb's going to spot them. So that's just going to be basically a TV show here for Invictus Gaming as they watch the Dragon fall. Yeah. And compared to a lot of other series, it's so competitive compared to I OMG blowing away other competition. Oh, look at these Blood of the Ruin Kings just destroying that Dragon. Howling Gale not going to find IG as well. They pick up their first very important 6% statistics out now again for OMG's Kakao. He's looking for the kick on the low. They get the pick that they want. That is Last Breath though popped and it's not going to be easy. The triple knockup to come through here as well. 
as Pokemon trying to find his way in. This is a gigantic rookie, of course, with a lot of extra armor penetration. Another pick onto Loveling as well, and Invictus Gaming turning it on, and it's all about Kakao and these fantastic kicks with Rookie. And Invictus Gaming were very smart and understanding. They wanted to pick on anyone. They just wanted to kill anyone. It didn't matter that it was the support, because it forces OMG to make bad decisions. But they've started the Baron right here. It's low, and it looks like they want to finish it off. Yeah, Pokemon into that front line as well. Cool actually having to blow that flash. The Uzi does get exhausted here as well as Pokemon's going to pick up that kill. Beautifully played Invictus Gaming. This is a completely different team. Sidewave manipulation, pick potential, fantastic play coming out of these guys. Wards right here. They really are. It's a thorn mail on this Maokai as well. Highest kills on his team. 5, 2, and 4. What a monster. He is the immovable tank that we know him to be. And cool! He's going to get caught and eliminated immediately. The inhibitor turret to fall down as well. Loveling copping rockets in the face as the inhibitor falls to these barrened up minions. And Invictus Gaming with such a beautiful passage of play. Now 8,000 gold in the lead. Oh, they're going to where they know the enemy isn't and trying to push their advantage. Yeah, Kitty's is actually caught out cool here. This is the support versus the mid lane. They're getting caught by that Soul Shackles. Kakao's around here as well. Wild growth probably not going to be enough. The Zonyas, it's available, but the rest of Cool's team not there, and Pokemon picks up himself another kill. Another smart rotation from Victus Game. It's going to be another out of target. They're chunking it down like it's nothing. That's a butter turret right there. Going to be eaten by Invictus Gaming. Rookie. And our kid doing so much damage. These Sheen procs. Of course, the Infinity Edge now on Rookie. He has so much damage. 100% critical strike chance as the Tornado just going to whoosh past OMG. The second inhibitor easily taken down by IG. On Rookie Show, <laughs> it's been Pokemon and the rest of the team doing so well. And they are playing so smart as a team against one of the best in the world. And this consistent grouping by IG is neutering that vein picks perfectly. Yeah, and look at this Windwall in perfect position. Thrill of the hunt for the last ditch effort here from OMG, but Pokemon is huge in that front line. The Foster responds on top of Loveling as well. Cool, so incredibly low. Kakao, he's just happy to tank up this turret as it melts to the power of In Invictus Gaming. This last inhibitor gonna fall down. There are super creeps streaming into the base of OMG, and this may spell the end, of course. Everyone's still alive on the side of OMG. They have the opportunity to make something happen. OMG come, I mean, Kakao, sorry, going so deep in this fight. He's just going to die for free. Pokemon now getting destroyed, but his passive doing so much work. Whoa, getting ripped apart. Rookie's coming. He gets turned into a critter, and they're turning it around. OMG looking fantastic, but Uzi's going to fall down. Kid's still huge, but Pokemon finds himself the only man alive, and OMG somehow managed to defend. OMG might try and contest it, but they haven't had the chance to push up their vision anywhere near the Baron just yet. Yep, Tormented Soil is down. Loveling's actually going to find Kakao here as the rest of OMG are going to come around. Safeguards over the wall, and they've started up the Baron, but IG, they want to start something go going right in that front line, but he's getting destroyed! Beautiful wild growth going to be going on to go going, but he has to get the heck out of here as Pokemon. He's telling him how to tank as this Maokai goes in, but there is so much damage on both sides of this rift. Kakao finds Uzi, but there's no last breath to come through. Rookie doesn't quite have the damage, the ability to get in here, but he's trying to come through. Pokemon is finally going to fall, but picks up Go Going here as well. Kid's alive. Uzi is as well as Rookie tries to find his way in, but Uzi with a sweet out play. And Kitties is trying to get in, trying to get the Dark Bind, and Kid just melt Suzy, and that was a little bit anticlimactic, I might but have to say. Atlas, there were so many phases of that team fight. That is the sort of team fight you'd want to watch again and again. The one thing I'll call out before we see the replay is watch the win walls coming through from Rookie White there. Twice that that fight, he won the fight for IG. Firstly, countering the engage, just completely splitting all the damage from the enemy team, and the second time around, doing the same thing right there. The win wall, a second win wall in a fight, that tells you how long a fight is, because that ability is on a long cooldown. But that was a wonderful fight, and I have to hope that's the post-game replay, because it was unbelievable play from Rookie.